In this session, we'll cover how to enter payapps as a vendor within iBeam. This can be done in eight simple steps. We'll simply navigate to Contracts and Payments, and under Committed Payments, click on New. We'll first pull in our contract, enter the invoice date and the invoice number, then pull in the Certificate of Insurance, then we'll attach the invoice, break out our line items in the lower form, and simply click Submit and then Send. Here within the iBeam system, to enter a new pay app, first I'll ensure that I'm on the proper project tab. Next I'll come to Contracts and Payments, Committed Payments, and Dev Pay App. Here on the record log, I can see previous pay apps entered within the system. Note that if you're new to iBeam, any invoices provided to Avalon Bay prior to your receiving a login likely will not be reflected here within the iBeam system. To sort the existing pay app records, you can simply click on the heading. To enter a new pay app, click on New. If you'd like any additional assistance, click on Help, and you'll find the Dev Pay App Help job aid. Further, you might choose User Productivity Kit, which provides a quick video tutorial. To expand the upper form, I'll click on Development Pay App. As a reminder, any fields that are gray are auto-populated. Any field that is white, you're able to complete, and any field that has a red asterisk next to it is mandatory. We'll start by selecting our contract. Highlight your contract and click Open. Next, we'll enter our invoice date. Now, we'll enter our unique invoice number. Next, we have a checkbox available for us to acknowledge that we have attached the invoice. To attach the invoice, we'll go to the top of the record. Choose Add Attachment and My Computer. From here, we'll click on Browse, find the proper invoice, and choose Open. Next, click OK. Now we're ready to click this checkbox. You'll note that the total amount requested is zero. We'll come back to this later. Next, we'll come down to Certificate of Insurance. Click Select and pull in your proper Certificate of Insurance. Note that the expiration date is reflected here. The earliest expiration date cannot be within seven days of this pay app. If your COI is expiring, please reach out directly to your Avalon Bay Development Admin and provide them with the new information and documentation. Should you have any special payment instructions, they can be entered here. Under Check Information, you'll find the check number and pay date once Avalon Bay has cut the check. Further, you can find where Avalon Bay is in the approval process. Now we're ready to enter our payment details. We'll go to the lower form and click on Payment Details. First, we're going to open the SOV here at the top of the screen. This schedule of values details exactly what line items we have available, the original commitment, any approved changes, pending invoices, approved invoices, and then our remaining balance. If there's not a remaining balance in this area, then we're not able to bill against it. The system will stop you before you're able to submit the pay up if this is the case. Note that sometimes you'll have the same cost codes available, but for different sections of work. If this is the case, this SOV function is very helpful so you can determine which line item you wish to bill against.
You may choose to keep this window open as you work through the next steps. From here, we'll click on Add. To select the cost codes available to you per your contract, simply click on this box. Highlight the appropriate row and choose Select. Enter a short description and include the amount. Select OK. If you have multiple line items, complete the rest in the same manner by selecting Add, selecting the box, highlighting the row, and choosing Select. Enter your short description and the amount. Select OK. You'll notice that the line items add to the total amount found on the bottom right. Further, if we go back to the upper form, you'll find this amount reflected here as well. Now we're ready to send the app forward to Avalon Bay. To do this, we'll choose the workflow action Submit. Next, we'll click Send. Thank you for partnering with Avalon Bay and participating in the iBeam system. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out directly to your iBeam support team member.